Hello everyone, welcome again to another series of video from uh, Electronics Eternity. So in this time around we will be looking at using uh, NRF 24L01 uh, RF module. So uh, since there's already so many video which is covering about uh, transmitting a strain, I'm going to do one video which is about uh, sending and receiving integers, right? So let's start with the circuit setup over here. Circuit setup over here is, is very straightforward, so I, I did not prepare a schematic for this, right? But I will give you some information about uh, what pin in uh, Arduino Uno connects to in which, connects to which pin in uh, NRF module. Alright, so uh, basically uh, Arduino pin 7 will be connected to CE pin from uh, NRF and uh, Arduino pin 8 will be connected to CSN and uh, SCK pin from NRF will be connected to pin 13 and, and uh, MOSI from NRF is connected to pin 11 and MISO is pin 12 right so that's straightforward uh, I will definitely give you that information in the code or, or in my blog so you can always just check it out right so you don't have to memorize that okay so uh, we're going to transmit uh, and, and receive right so of course we would need to have another one uh, module or set of arrangements like this right so uh, just, just to tell you uh, about that right because right now I'm not showing two modules where I have uh, two modules already connected but once we have uploaded then I, I will show you how that looks like okay so let's get to the code then okay let's get straight into the code then uh, we have on, on the left hand side we have transmitter code and on the right hand side we have the receiver code so uh, let's go through the uh, transmitter code first so like I mentioned earlier uh, this is the pin configuration that I mentioned right so you, you don't have to memorize that it's going to be available in the code and the code is going to be made uh, downloadable in the blog or even in my uh, YouTube video okay so uh, this is the pin arrangement uh, next is just calling out the libraries uh, as you can see this SPI there is NRF library you can just follow exactly the same and uh, moving on is pin assignment uh, you need to assign CE and CSN pin so CE is pin 7 and CSN is pin 8 uh, next is assigning address so address is important as uh, uh, for some of you that has been using an RF24 you would know address is very important so uh, the simple idea behind this is uh, the address between receiver and the transmitters needs to be the same right so that they can communicate and uh, uh, you know do whatever they need to do right uh, next is I have uh, declared a variable I have declared an integer over here uh, which is stands for pot uh, which is basically potential meter connected to analog pin 0 okay so next we have uh, white setup white setup is basically just the whole setup itself okay so uh, you're assigning the analog pin as an input pin you're uh, initiating uh, the serial monitor and uh, the radio communication as well so radio begin uh, you're writing information to this address uh, you're setting the PA level as PA max uh, which I find uh, works best for me uh, next is radio stop listening because we're not actually for this particular module which sits on the transmitter side we're not actually uh, receiving any values we're just transmitting it so I, I use the command stop listening over here uh, these four lines is pretty basic you can even find in the NRF24 website itself so it's just basically th that whole section being copied over here uh, next is white loop so repetitively I'm gonna check for analog value uh, what is being displayed uh, I'm gonna just try changing that uh, uh, p not position in the potential meter just so that I can vary, uh, vary these values right so after that I'm gonna just simply put a message um, I'm sending a message and uh, radio will start writing that information right so once it is written it's gonna give us what value it has written exactly okay so it's gonna just keep looping in and as long as it is turned on okay so transmitter is pretty basic uh, let's go to receiver code uh, the same pin arrangement is here the same uh, library the same pin assignment the same address uh, a white setup is slightly different uh, as you can see we don't have the potential meter over here now we didn't define the pin for potential meter now we're just initializing serial monitor and we're just starting radio communication but this time around we're starting it for listening instead of writing so it's radio begin we're opening reading pipe instead of writing pipe uh, PA level is maximum as usual uh, this time around we're starting to listen instead of stopping to listen right so that's very basic uh, next is white loop so for as long as radio is available 
uh, it will put that value in an integer called the value and and then after that it would just simply display that in the serial monitor so that's very basic and uh, uh, so I, I guess that's all I, I will after this I will, I will show you guys a schematic you, you can use that uh, to build your circuit and uh, let's get straight to the results then okay now so it's, it's time to uh, view the results and see if this code is actually working uh, based on the setup that we have okay so i already have connected my arduino since i have uh, i don't have a dual camera i couldn't actually show you uh, the arduino along with the with with my screen right so what i'm basically saying in my screen but uh, just just to prove to you guys that this is working i'm gonna uh, upload the code uh, while i'm uh, showing this to you so i already have two arduino connected uh, with already uh, with with already having rf24 attached to it so i'm gonna go upload this in uh, uh, transmitter is going to be uploaded in com13 okay so i'm gonna upload this and uh, on the other side i have another receiver and i have com7 okay so i'm gonna just upload that into com7 uh, as you can see over here it's done uploading over else on the receiver side it's uploading and now it is done okay so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the serial monitor from the receiving end okay as you can see the value is 500 right so i'm gonna just play with their uh, potentiometer a bit so i'm gonna move it right so as you can see i'm just playing with the potentiometer and and you can see the value is going up so this is the lowest point and this is the highest point i'm gonna just move slightly to the middle slightly to the left right so okay yeah this is slightly to the left so as you can see this code is working and uh, it would be beneficial in uh, controlling whatever uh, output devices that you have over uh, radio communication so i hope this is very helpful for you guys so good luck and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you